I built this manipulate to help visualize sweeping out area in polar coordinates. This is actually published on the demonstration site as well. So if we have just a simple circle, r equals 3, for example, in polar coordinates, if we sweep out the area, it just goes around as theta increases. And this is pretty clear when you have a circle centered at the origin. However, what if we have a circle like r equals 3 cosine theta? Now the circle is offset. It's not centered at the origin. As theta increases, we sweep out the area as follows. r is always measured from the origin out to the curve, not necessarily the center of the figure. It's from the origin out to the curve. So when we sweep the area for 3 cosine theta, it comes around like this. Likewise, if we have 3 times sine theta, as we sweep the area, it goes around and fills in the circle as follows. Again, measured out from the origin. Some other illustrations that can be interesting to look at. Here's a cardioid, a uh, typical polar figure. This comes around as follows. And I have some other ones that are kind of fun. This one has um, a whole variety of petals. And this shows both positive values for R and negative values for R, which causes the back and forth type of behavior. Another one um, that's interesting here is just a spiral. R equals theta. As theta increases, R increases. And this just goes around and around. Now, finding the area with something like this would be a bit confusing because you would have overlapping regions. But we're going to talk about how to deal with that in some simpler cases. So here's an example. R equals 3 times cosine 2 theta. We're going to work with this one in our next example. So as we go around here with theta, you can see it sweeping out the entire area. However, in order for our area formula to work, we can only do sections of the curve where R is completely positive or completely negative. We want to take advantage of the symmetry of this shape. So rather than integrating from 0 to 2 pi to find the entire area, what we will do is integrate the smallest symmetric piece and then multiply by the appropriate number. In this case, we can take half of one petal and then multiply that area times 8 to get the final answer. And that will be the strategy we will use in example 1.